Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF, bringing you episode 68 of Let's Play The Elder Scrolls 3 Open Morrowind with a bunch of mods. Hope you guys are doing well and in the Morrowind spirit today. Ready to check out some more of this modded masterpiece with me. We're in Old Ebonheart. Um, we're just going to click yes. I had to make some changes off camera regarding Tamriel um, rebuilt. Just basically the wares um, functioning is not uh, up to date. I had it installed, but it wasn't uh, updated for this version of Tamriel rebuilt. So we had to turn that off. Bunch of technical stuff. Anyway, we're here with Drava Shai. And uh, we're going to head into... Where is it? The, um... I think it's back here, actually. Go ahead. I've got a few minutes if you what need do you some. Need? The Hostel of Stendar's Mercy. Let's go. It's pretty dark in here. You're a lot more refined than most tourists I've met. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> nice. Welcome, Initiate Elzerian. Can I tell you about our services? Or if you can donate more time and effort, would you like to become a lay servant? I already am, sir. But maybe you have jobs for me. Um, well, you know a lot. Uh, let's talk to the homie here. This place is safe for the Khajiit. I will stay here with the priest and find a job. You are a friend to drive a shy. Here, take this green gem I had in my second boot for all you have done for me. I sewed them in my fur boots when I left home to be used at hard times like this. Do not worry, Dravashai has some money left from the first gem. May Alkosh guide your travels, Elzerion. No more travel together? Oh, Dravashai cannot currently travel. Khajiit is sorry. Okay, so he actually gave us... <laughs> oh. Kazvadi. You're in Old Debenhart, the inner sea's finest port. Need help finding your way around? Uh, what's your background? Kazvati follows the trade of Popper. Trade? I am a Popper, one of the humble small folk. I make my way in the world as best I can, laboring in the fields, kitchens, and factories of lords and merchants. When times are good, I live well enough by my own work. When times are hard, I must hope for the charity of the nobles and wealthy merchants. Imperial Cult Altar. Now back to you, sir. Um... I guess you don't have as much as I thought you did. Can you tell us about, more about Stendar? We know a little bit about him. Stendar, god of justice and mercy, is the right is the patron of righteous might and merciful forbearance. He is the inspiration of magistrates and rulers, the patron of the imperial legions, and the comfort of the law-abiding citizen. Okay. You guys kind of worship him here. Um, imperial cult doctrine. We look to the nine divines as models for living a good and virtuous life. Each of the nine represents different aspects of life and how it should be lived. But the simplest statement of our doctrines is help and protect one another. The stronger one is, the wealthier one is, the more one bears responsibility for helping and protecting others. One's first duty, of course, is to one's fellow members of the Imperial cult. But after that, one should help and protect any needy persons. We also say, do not harm one another. It is forbidden to attack another person of the Imperial cult. And of course, forbidden to kill another member. It is forbidden to steal from another member, whether by open theft or by covert pickpocketing. It is forbidden to trespass upon the private property of another member, private property being understood to be anything behind a locked door. Break any one of these rules and be expelled from the cult. Okay, um, let's see. Specific place? Old Ebonard is a town divided. The rich merchants and nobles live around the plaza area to the west. That's where the Grand Chapel of Talos and the Fighters Guild are. Whereas the small folk live further in the east part of town, known as the Squalid District. 
The commoners and craftsmen live in the middle. The Craftsman Street is marked by the colorful flags above the alley. The Mages Guild Hall is the se- in the central town. The Barristers Guild can be found in the high street leading to the plaza. Barristers Guild. What was that again? Can be found in the high street leading to the plaza. Okay, maybe we'll just have a peek around someone in particular. Archibald Venny is the master of our town's mages guild. Neil Gaimont once was once hailed as the province's foremost artist. Hastafos Velifer is a fortune teller and necromancer, which is quite an unusual profession in Morrowind. Emercius Ludeville, head of the local union of guildless traders and artisans, can be found in the Craftsman Street. That's the alley marked by the little flags. Valley of Valtteri is the publican of the Moth and Tiger Inn. Okay, we're gonna have a look around. It's um now here's one who can hold their own. How are you? Talking about Travashai, of course. Come down here and it's actually a little brighter. You guys gotta get that repaired. Sturdy arch door. Whoa. Good hunting. Go ahead. Speak. Hello. Welcome to Old Ebonheart Citizen, a slice of Cyrodiil in these astrican lands. Background? I am called Darakius. In Black Marsh, I was a hunter. In the salt plains of Deshaun, I was a slave. Now I'm here, not quite knowing what I am. You know about True? We already know about that. Um, your trade? I was a hunter. I range across the land hunting for meats and hides. I know the native creatures and know to avoid the diseased creatures for they are foul and worthless and deadly to the careless hunter. I can tell you about the local geographic regions. Hmm. His background. Um. Sir. Hold up a second. Let me build up the, uh, Confidence here. Well, cast a spell to get the confidence. Sir, you are, you must have been the absolute best hunter around. You honor me, Alzerion. Thank you. Background? Hmm. No, I mean, here's 10 gold towards uh, future projects of yours. You are generous, Alzerion, and your judgment is good. Hmm, no, the background does not change. I'm Alexia. It is the capital of Morrowind. I thought because it was blue, he had more to tell us. Cork. But, um, no. Can't come in here, though. Which has the annotated a new ad. Hello. I suppose I have a moment. What is it? Pilar Orthus? I don't think we've been introduced, Traveler. I'm Pilar Orthus. Background? I'm a popper. Hmm. So, Refresh of the Empire Volume 3. The, um. Oh, I can actually use this bed. That's interesting. The dialogue doesn't seem to work the same here between the two mods, or um, it's not getting updated or something. I'm not quite sure. Let's try this again. Uh, more one more. Western sorcerers have a hard time adjusting to life in the East. The Dark Elves have a fanatical approach to the use of magic, and one must constantly struggle to remember what they think is a punishable heresy and what is acceptable. Oh, Alexia, see, that would normally gray out. That makes me wonder if this gray stuff has anything. Hmm. Little advice. Do yourself a favor and get a decent weapon before trudging off into the wretched wilds outside the gates. I've heard all sorts of horror stories from travelers making their way between the cities. Bandits raiding caravans, rogue mages raiding caravans... Vampires raiding caravans, even caravans raiding other caravans. 
Despite the Empire's presence, it would seem the people of Morrowind have still a thing or two to learn about peace and harmony. Okay, it did update. It did go gray. Um, Guild Guide? A Guild Guide is a spellcaster of the Mages Guild who provides magical transport for a small fee. You can only travel from one Mages Guild to another. Elvildi is the Guild Guide at the Old Devonheart Mages Guild. For a small fee, she can teleport you directly to the Mages Guild at either Akamora, All Mystere, or Andathrin. That's interesting. Two places that... Or three places that I have no idea. Well, we're just going to probably explore a bit since we're down here. Um, now I don't here's think we've... One who can hold their own. <laughs> How are you? Charna Belly Kicker. Welcome to the Hostel of Stendar's Mercy, citizen. Here we offer food, shelter, and paid work for those who have escaped the barbarism of slavery. Background? I am Jarna Bellykicker, warrior and layman of the Imperial Cult. I'm Alexia uh, Blades. The Blades are the Emperor's spies. They're everywhere, but no one knows who they are. Your trade? I'm a warrior by trade. You've heard that already. What do you think of necromancy? In the Empire, body and spirit are protected as property. It may not be used without permission of the owner. Right, we've heard that as well. Okay. Best of luck, Java Shy, and uh I hope we picked the right place. It seems like we did. Seems like a nice enough establishment. Just look having a look around. The eastern provinces. Varieties of faith. Any books? No, I'm not going to take the five gold, bro. Just looking for books or something. I know it's a little messy, a little dark, but... None of those are really crimes, right? Door to the... Oh! You've got... Keeps up here. Broken Shield. I don't think we've been introduced, Traveler. I'm Broken Shield. How can I help you? Background? I am but a pauper. May I help you? I'm Balasia. How can I help you? I am Balasia, pauper. My trade. I am a pauper of the humble small folk. I make my way in the world as best I can. Laboring in the fields, kitchens, and factories of the great house lords. When times are good, I live well enough by my own work. When times are hard, I live by the grace and generosity of the clan. And by the charity and good works of the temple. I am no rude beggar. We are all educated in the temple, free of charge. And it may be I can teach you something of Morrowind lore. Vampires? Right, we know about that. Necromancy. Necromancy is both illegal and utterly evil according to our custom and religion. Yet again, you know, Dunmer, um, have ancestor ghosts and commune with them and all that good stuff, so who knows really, but. Greetings. Ghost. Necromancer. Made a tomato. You're an old Devin heart. Ajit? Sudedrat prefer claws to weapons. Fast and always ready. That's a little different heart. Well, I mean, at least you've got a warm place to stay. Right? Not sure if I'm missing anything here, but. Be well, Chuck. Be well, be well. I'll see you guys later. Take good care of Drava Shy. And, uh, we don't. 
Okay. Go ahead, Abbott. What do you need? Whoa, what are you wearing, sir? Nabarbaran. What are you looking at? Background? If you don't back off, I promise you'll find out exactly what I do. Little advice? In principle, a member is not to be given tests that exceed the member's ranks or ability. In practice, sometimes mistakes are made. You're not expected to fail and die for those mistakes. Use judgment. Be patient. Take the initiative. Train yourself. Equip yourself. Study your target and situation more carefully. Then return to your task when you are ready and succeed. Rules? Oh. The Murak Tongue executes writs and performs special duties as the ruling house is direct. Guild members never harm or steal from anyone except the target of a legal writ of execution. Never betray our secrets or our identities. If you break any of these rules, you must immediately speak with a master to regain your good standing. Or you may be targeted for execution. Join the wrong tongue. Oh, right in Vivek, okay. Rift, Rift Skull Whalebane's house. Huh. Tall t tail tails. Force of the spirit. Oh man, we could spend a lot of time in here. Um, I'm not going to right now. But I will at least talk to the owner. Sarah? Evan Hart of History. Welcome to Utrash Utrashi's bookshelf, or Tale Tales, as Utrashi's father called it. Utrashi and Razi Had inherited the store from him, and now they are stuck with the name. The old cat did love bad puns. Fortunately, the books we're selling are really good. Please have a look around. Background? Utrashi is a bookseller. Khajiit? Proud Khajiit come from the deserts of elsewhere. Morrowind lore? Morrowind became a part of the Empire after Tiber Septim made the Dark Elves surrender and their leaders signed the Treaty of the Armistice. The enlightened natives recognized the treaty as mutually beneficial and their loyal subjects to the Imperial Throne. But I hear there are still some unruly savages left in the far corners of the province. You trade? I'm a bookseller. I buy and sell books. I also read books and know the sorts of things you read in books. I don't mind sharing what I know about Morrowind lore, and I'm happy to share a little advice if you're interested. I can also suggest who to talk to if you want to know more about the subject. Uriel Septim? The Emperor is old and rumored to be terribly ill. <clears throat> Should he pass away now, the line of succession is disputable. It's known that the Emperor has begun to favor the Princess Ebel and Enman as joint heirs for the throne over their older brother, Crown Prince Geldal. There are some who might wonder if that decision will prove to be unwise. All mortals are prone to err, but only when Emperors make mistakes are the lives of so many at stake. Good point. I'm Alexia. Capital, um, who to talk to? Okay, we can go over this once again. Smiths know about weapons and armor and how to repair them. Clothiers know about clothes. Enchanters know about enchanting and enchanted items. Ashlanders know about Ashland's ecology and geography. Nobles can tell you about the great houses. Priests know about cults and shrines. Savants know about history, speechcraft, and language. Sorcerers know about Daedra. Barbarians know about creatures. Mages know about undead. Miners know about egg mines and quama. Scouts know about places and how to reach them. See, I'm just, I'm think, I'm reading this and thinking in my mind, like, was there a point where Morrowind was going to be even more immersive? And like, maybe you wouldn't even have a map or know the name of a place necessarily before exploring it. Like, you would have to talk to, you know, like if you had a quest to learn about something 
like say about the history you'd have to speak with the savant i know there's some of them in the game where like okay if you have to reach a certain region they'll have you talk like sort of scriptedly you know you'll have to go see such and such character who will tell you how to get there but i wonder if it was going to be more like sort of an immersive thing where like okay i have to reach the west gash region and you have you're clueless at this point you're brand new you don't know any of the layout so you actually go to a scout learn how to get there and then it's like you know you would play it like that like you'd actually have to use these who to talk to people to kind of figure out how the game works that would be pretty crazy but pretty interesting i think it would be challenging perhaps even to create a game like that but hmm I don't think anyone's ever done a game in that in that way. And I think the closest we have is probably Morrowind. So, did we read Sermon 18? I think we did. I said I wasn't going to spend much time here, so let me just do one thing. Let me quick save. Let's power close. And, um... And then you have to make like a lot of the systems um, very open-ended and very um, not procedurally generated, but very, um, I don't know, I lost my train of thought thinking about this book. Yeah, we already read this, so let me just reload, not spend that money on Sermon 18. We'll check this book. Uh, oh, I thought she was mad. I pulled out a lockpick on her. The Guar Herder's Art, Banker's Bet, Harvesting by the Heavens. Hello. Like legal basics. Like, say you had a quest to, you know, you had to do a court um, appearance or something, or you needed to be seen in front of a council. Like, you'd have to read legal basics to learn, you know, a little bit of the basics. It wouldn't be too challenging, like, to make it super crazy where you'd have to, like, you know, read this many volumes of Dunmer Law or something, but, like, little things like that would be, I think, very cool. Oh, I was going to say, I think whoever would make that game, if created right, I think could be something really wild, but... Razid, you're all over the place, man. You don't want to talk. Okay, now you do. want to talk? Okay. What's your background? Riz Razi Had is Utrashi's husband and owns half of this bookstore. I am an acrobat. Hmm. And I love that it's been added. Um to the game in the mod or the cutting room floor or whatnot about, um... Okay, that door's long. Oh, biscuits on a plate. About, uh, entertaining patrons. How to tune your whom. Hmm. I won't even ask about that one. <laughs> but yeah. Like, that was very cool little addition to the role-playing aspect. We're very... Wavians Mystical Emporium. Well, we have money, so I mean... Greetings. Hello. I don't think we've been introduced, Traveler. I'm Wavian Eulorius. How can I help you? Background? I'm a trader. Well, let's see what you've got. Got a dire spark blade. Use a short blade. Got some books, a game of dinner. Blue Book of Riddles. Warm. This fire is this fire invisibility shield. Ngaska Kavada Kavakis. Inside Amalexia's top. What? Oh, I guess just uh, the city of Amalexia. Ooh, a little double meeting there. Emeralds. I am curious about that Emeralds book. That's the second time I've seen it. Ooh. 
I don't have a master um, retort though. You got some Flynn. Okay. Quality potion of burden. Hmm. If I want to burden myself, I guess, or maybe you throw them at people. Enemies to burden them. Okay. Uh. I'll just have a peek around here. It's like another little bookstore. Some soul gems. I didn't see them for sale. Blank scrolls. Sure, he doesn't want me reading the merchandise. Clothing and bread, nice. Yeah, I just like looking at all the little details and stuff. I'm sorry, guys. Some of you don't care for that as much, but I mean, it's episode 68, so if anyone's watching at this point, you probably like those little details too. Silver staff, it's pretty cool. Tim to come by flowers. Don't touch him though. Why would I take his flowers? What is that? Is that another cork? Betty sold Jim. Caught my eye from across the room. Scales. There's warmth. Okay. Alright. Actually, we'll head upstairs rather than get out. Book of Norbert. Book of Proverbs. Uh, no problem. Doors lock. Ah, uh, there's more. Hello? Yes, Outlander. What do you want? Um. Speak freely, traveler. We're all fellow citizens within these walls. Background? I am Dalcy Eulorius, alchemist. Amber? Amber is one of the rare gemstones, not of mineral origin. It's actually fossilized resin. It is quite valuable and has interesting magical properties. Animal products? Animal products of commercial value in Morrowind include the following. a lit meat and hide. Beetle shells. Cephalopod shell. Crab meat, drew wax, fish scales, guar meat and hide, hound meat, kagooty meat and hide, quama cuddle and egg, mole crab shell and egg. Mole crab? Is that supposed to be mud crab? Maybe mud crab, I don't know. Or mole crab. Uh, netch leather, or not a meat and egg, per peristylus meat and egg, or perastylus, racer meat and plume, rat meat, scrib jelly, scrib jerky, scuttle. Shock resin, sky render venom, slowed soap, star's eye, and troll fat. This is actually pretty interesting. Kagudi meat. Kagudi meat is chewy and sinewy with a strong odor and an acrid taste. However, a slain kagudi gives enough meat to feed a whole family for a few days. And kagudi heads make good trophies, so they're often considered as game animals. Aylet meat? Aylet meat is the flesh of the dusky aylet. It is bitter and chewy, but it has modest magical properties. Beetle shell? Beetle shell fragments are usually taken from their chitinous forewings or elytra. They can be ground and dissolved, then mixed in with bone shards and resin to make bone mold and aena armor and weapons. But the shells have other alchemical virtues as well. Hmm. That's how you make bone mold in Aena. Ground beetle shells. Cephalopod shell? Shells from the Talvani cephalopods are prized trophies amongst fishermen and shipmasters. They're often kept as good luck charms by the superstitious seafarers. Those of a more practical mind will appreciate it for its useful effects in the hands of a skilled alchemist. Your trade. I'm an alchemist. Alchemy is the process of refining and preserving magical properties hidden in natural and supernatural ingredients. Okay. Very cool. You have a whole setup over here. You don't really sell any of these. You're just doing some alchemy up here. Very good. Very good. 
see you later. Now, guys, let's um head out. I may still have it a bit too dark, huh? I want to turn it up just a little bit. Okay. Remember, I'm not using wares now for the shopkeep, so they don't have the wares um, extra added little bits and bobs. You're Alon, a weaponsmith. Go ahead. How long have we been playing? Have I lost track of time? No, 30 minutes in, okay. Val said Gavinus. I'm an Imperial Crusader. Hello. How do you do? Pretty well. You've got interesting silver and stuff here. Bosmer. We're small, sharp, and smart. We love wild creatures, wild beauty, and wild life. Unlike our dull cousins. We're not very polite, but don't have to be, since we shoot straight and run like the wind. I'm Yerlon Smith. So if I wanted to suss out like the details of say, remember how she told us smiths know about weapons and armor. If I wanted to see what this would like a bone mold helmet, maybe see its armor rating or how durable it is and stuff, I'd actually have to come to him and get that information. I think that'd be super cool, but I don't know. It might be too much for some people, but I'd be all into that. Um, Orcish. Oh, he's got an orcish helm, guys. Cha-ching. Big find. Because all we have is that. Okay, we found something. Very nice to buy. I don't know if I just did, if I did power clothes. Nope, I did speechcraft, so... You have awesome stuff, sir. Yes, it truly is. Um, no, I want power clothes, power clothes, power clothes. Okay, we're going to barter for an orcish open helm. Our first piece of orcish armor. Would be cool if like, they also knew your face based on the, on the helmet you would wear. Like a wanted man could more or less get away with a, a closed helmet. Whereas an open helmet, they'd see, know who you are, stuff like that. I don't know, I'm just dreaming at this point, but why not? Just having fun. Um, let's see, everything else is pretty basic. Unfortunately, like I said, I had to take the wares out. So what you're seeing here is actually a cut down version of what he would have had a save ago. Huh. Alright, so total cost 781. I'm prepared to pay 681. Hmm, okay. Pretty good deal. We're gonna have to start going past hundred now it seems, but oh, wait, no, I'm not done. I do have something to get rid of rid of the Nordic Bird Reeves. Um I guess that would be it. And again, that's a steel shaft. Shaming. Be cool with that. Okay, I'm not going to blather on about that. <laughs> but all my ideas that are just coming to me at the moment. Oh, I didn't complete that deal? So I me. Okay, let's put on the Orca shell. Armor rating 38 takes us to its 30 in armor which unfortunately there's no tooltip or anything there telling us you know how that actually works I'm not sure how the armor works in the game um, essentially some sort of damage reduction something like that I'm not really sure There we have it, 30 is our armor rating. Very nice find there. 
in a pretty cool looking shop with a coin piece of coin that'll get you killed. Three estates wine. Hmm. The loot. Very nicely decorated. Greetings. Greetings. Um, don't mind me. And how are you? Just checking out your, uh, you know, stuff here. Ooh, some amber. It's worth a hundred. It's the first time seeing that. Checking out your decorations and whatnot. Confessions of a thief. Hmm, interesting. Level 35. Well, he let me back here. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to, uh, probably more of a use for Inducey's unhinging. What am I doing? It's not how you read scrolls. <laughs> you think I'd know. 68 episodes in. Um. Okay. Not sure why I'm coming up here because I don't think he has anything too crazy that he didn't show in the store. A little bit of troll fat. Some meat and stuff in the crates. Barrels, some oh torches. It's actually a really nice find. I'd probably pay him for those though. Oops. Nice iron claymore. And there he has a those are cool, I like those. Rugs. Lock 70. Can I look between the cracks, see what's in there a little bit? A little bit. Hmm. Something on a pedestal, it looked like. Yeah, we have no way to get in there unless I use the our one and only Open 100 e cash. Um. And I don't know, should I use it? Probably should hang on to it a bit longer. But I did want to come down here and see if I could buy those, uh... Yes? Why is he red? <gasps> I'm sneaking. Oh my gosh. Okay. No, he's not offering the torches for sale, it looks like. So, um... I'm gonna use your back exit, sir. After I go ahead and prong up... Yeah, I'm gonna use your back exit. Thanks for the stuff, though. Check out our new Orcish Helm. Look at that, baby. Looking good. Wow. That is pretty wild, guys. Um. We're gonna be playing in a darker world. We need some torches. Old Devonheart. Boom. The back. I can tell. Oh, there's a little forge here. This is the back alley. But I probably have to save here and call it an episode. Oh, it goes to the sewers. Hello. Is there something you need? Hi, Elf. I'm Brelin Sedas. I do a little of this and a little of that. Getting commendable performance here. Much better than we did before. Which is nice. And maybe we'll start next episode by hailing this in right here. Moth and Tiger. 
very cool artwork. That is a special mod that's installed. And maybe reading some of these notices, advertisements should be interesting. So I hope you'll join me for that, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you're digging the LP as well. If you're peeking around at that, feel free to. And feel free to smash that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And subscribe if you're new. All those things would greatly, uh, greatly appreciate it and would greatly help my channel. If you feel like it, don't feel any pressure though, guys. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, live well, be well, stay well. Much love, peace, and joy to all of you. And truly, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you're digging it. Very fun game. Just get lost in it. But this is what I'm pretty much focused on at the moment. So, yeah. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.